This is Adama. She grew up in Sierra Leone. She's 16 years old and she is pregnant. Adama was forced into early marriage by her parents. She never had anybody to stand up for her. Her parents did not have the financial means to send her to school. So they thought the only option they had was to send her into a man's house. Adama is now a housewife, a child about to give birth to her own child. Her destiny was decided from birth. So would her unborn child if she turns out to be a girl. Let's imagine this. You as a young girl, thinking of who you want to become in the future, and suddenly somebody gives you a tap on your shoulder and says, sorry girl, your future stops here. And the next thing you know, you find yourself in a man's house who is 40 years older than you. The importance of education cannot be overemphasized. Education is considered as a human right that should be accorded to all human beings. Fatmata Loveta Sisse. She grew up in Sierra Leone from a small village called Ile. She grew up like any other village girl doing house chores. Her parents sent her to a boarding school when she was 16 years old, where she completed her secondary school. And at the age of 19, she had the opportunity to go to Angela University of Sierra Leone. From 2001 to 2004, she had her PhD in economics. Fatma Tsisse is now working for the United Nations. She has traveled to more than 40 countries and some of these countries more than once. I know you all will be wondering who this woman is. Well, she is my mother. Let's look at another scenario. The first elected female president of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sheriff. Back in Ellen's days in school, she faced so many challenges. But she knew what she wanted and where she wanted to go in life. She defeated all odds. She stood her ground and went to school. Back in those days, we were told that a woman cannot lead a particular nation, but Ellen Johnson Sheriff broke the record. When she was a child, she never imagined herself being a president. But for the fact that she went to school, she defeated all odds, and she never listened to whatever people say. She did it, and now this is the benefit. Now we have seen the difference between these people. Fatma Talavetis say stood on her ground. Her parents believed in education, and she went to school, despite all the challenges she faced. But remember, it was not a safe Adama never wanted to do the same. She was forced into it. She never had the opportunity to sit in a classroom with her book and her pen among her peers. To all the girls in this auditorium today, I am pleading with you and I want you to know that there is no boy at this particular point in time that is too cute than your books. Stand on your feet. Go to school, meet your target grades, and be who you want to be in the future. You're not doing it for your parents, but you are doing it for yourself to have a say in society one day. And to all the parents, I am pleading with you to send those girls to school because they are our future leaders. You as a mother or as a father, you will be proud to say, she is my daughter. You will need somebody to stand up for you when the time arises. And it will be that particular child that will have to do it. By sending those girls to school, we will not only shape the future of Sierra Leone, but shape the future of Africa as a whole. We can have lawyers, we can have doctors, we can have engineers. 
and it starts with the children. Because as I said earlier on, they are our future generation. So I urge each and every one of you to put our hands together in accelerating quality and access education to girl child worldwide. Thank you.